What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new adventure. This is gonna be actually a really long series. Um, so I came out here, we're like in the central of Pennsylvania right now. I'm out here with uh, Chizza Chad. He's kind of in the background here in the dark. Hey, hey. <laughs> kind of hard to see him, but uh, we've uh, made it to this place called uh, SCI Crescent, AKA Crescent Sanatorium. This thing was actually multiple things over the years. This was originally one of the oldest sanatoriums in the country, the United States. It was actually later used as a mental asylum as well for a period of time. Eventually, they didn't have much use for it, so it closed down, and then the state eventually converted it into a prison. Um, this place did have medium security prisoners, high security prisoners, some really, really bad people. I believe it was mostly used, or actually totally used for men at that point. And um, there was actually some pretty high profile people that we'll probably get into. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie The Fox Catcher. I remember watching it years ago. And the story that that movie was based off was a person who was actually incarcerated here. Um, basically, he was very rich. And uh, he, I think he had his own like wrestling team and he was involved with Olympic wrestlers, two brothers, and he ended up murdering one of them. Pretty crazy story. Um, but yeah, this place is notorious for being haunted. So we've actually been here for like a couple of hours. We did like this tour sort of thing, which was really interesting. It was interesting to see like other people's takes on this place because you know, they have a lot of experience here. Uh, obviously they've been here a lot, whereas this is literally our first time. And there was quite a bit going on, some of the buildings more than others. Um, but yeah, it was, it was very, very interesting, especially in the cell block area. But we're gonna actually go around, um, there's probably gonna be like a three, four part series because there's like 12 freaking buildings here and they're all very unique. Um, they all kind of have their own spirits. So we're gonna take our time. We actually have until six o'clock in the morning. It's about 12 o'clock now starting off. So smash the like button, um, check out Chad's channel, go and subscribe to him as well. Smash the like button and uh, let's get the adventure started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are starting out down here on the first floor. Chad is actually gonna be going up to the second floor to start off. Those were two different uh, vantage points. I think is uh, probably a really good idea. Definitely going to watch both of our videos so you guys can see the two different sides of the story here. Oh wow. So what's cool about this place is that, you know, it did used to be abandoned for quite some time. And uh, what the heck? Oh my god. But uh, the cool thing is it's very, very well preserved. There's not a lot of damage. There's a little bit of like spray paint here and there, which you'll see, but majority of this place is completely untouched. Look at this. There's this like shoe shining area. Oh, it is. It's literally, I did not expect this. So apparently this building, it was part of the original sanatorium area. No idea what that room's all about. Can't really get in there because this table's blocking it. Got all this crazy paperwork everywhere. But uh, yeah, this building is literally like 120 years old. Look at this. There's like a, a mural on here. It's oh shit. <laughs> it's it's obviously you can tell that they painted over it, and then it just kind of peeled away, and now you can see. I don't know what's going on in here, or what what it used to look like anyway. So I'm gonna try and keep a lot of this relatively uncut. You guys keep your eyes and ears open, let me know if you see or hear anything at all. We're also gonna try not to be too loud on this investigation. It's a uh, big old smash TV over there. This is really cool. Well, all right, let's head on to uh, one of the other wings. I thought I heard something behind me. So as you can probably tell from my breath, it is uncomfortably cold tonight. So I'm gonna do my best to film this. Um, it is difficult when it's cold like this, but we're also kind of like, we have an adrenaline rush from doing this, so 
should hopefully help but keep us a little bit warm. I don't know. Okay, back here in the uh, main entrance. I thought I was hearing like a strange buzzing. I don't know if uh, Chad is using his REM pod already. I'm kind of just like manually exploring this right now. No tools. Holy. There you go. You got a little bit of vandalism there. A couple of broken windows here and there. No idea why people need to do that. These look like they would have been maybe offices? I'm guessing. Got an old newspaper here. Flood of 1889 changed nation politically. I don't, I don't know what date this is from. Oh, 2005. So the last time these buildings were actually used as a prison was in 2013. I do believe the the hospital portion was closed well before that. We're talking like the 60s. After tuberculosis kind of phased out, I guess you can say. Wow. Keep in mind this building is also 120 years old approximately. Roughly somewhere in between there. Whoa, the door over here is just completely ripped off the hinges. Wow. Oh man, it's so blisteringly cold down there. Holy, oh look at this. You can see where they marked to put all their uh, shovels. That's cool. So, let's see if we can get any responses down here. Is there anybody down here? Anybody that wants to communicate with me? That wind from outside is just terrible. There's someone walking. Where is it coming from now? Hello? It almost sounded as if somebody was walking through the snow. It is snowing outside, so there's like a couple of inches out there. What the hell? I couldn't tell if it was like from the hallway or outside, maybe? Definitely wouldn't be Chad, and nobody else came to this building. There are other people ghost hunting, but they're in the other buildings right now. And there's literally no one out here. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to uh, carry on here. <sighs> that was very strange hearing those footsteps. Honestly, like it kind of sounded like it came from outside, but I don't know. It also kind of sounded like it might have been to like the left of me. Couldn't figure that out. If that was you, somebody who was walking in the hallways. Can you show yourself? This is actually really awesome. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't wait to show you guys the other buildings as well. I'm gonna actually uh, head upstairs and join Chad now. So see you guys up there. Like, I'm really not that tall of a person. 
Anybody who's taller than that, oh man. Oh, there we go. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> nice and quiet up here. Just some empty rooms. Yeah. I had some footsteps downstairs. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know. It sounded kind of like it was outside. Okay. But necessary, necessary. to close. Eight. So it said cellar before songs. I know we were talking about earlier going to the basement. Yeah. I don't know if there would be a cellar down there. There is a gym down there, apparently. Oh, but... look. Death? Death? There was a lot of death that did occur here. Yeah. This was the old sanatorium building, so... That makes sense. And I swear, I thought I heard a voice up here, too. But I, I thought, it, like a woman? Like a moan? Yeah. I heard that from downstairs. Really? Yeah. I thought it was you. No, I, well, I heard it on this end. That's of the why hallway. I came up because I'm like, was that chat or what the hell was no, that? Like I was talking and stuff, yeah. but it was very bizarre. Pretty interesting. It's cool. <sighs> Definitely mostly old offices in this building. Smashed window. So I'm not going to spend too much time on every single building just because honestly it's going to take forever. I think there's like some between 10 to 15 different buildings. But this one's kind of drawing me in a little bit. We got a little bit of graffiti over here. Not too much though. Smashed window. My hands are literally frozen at this point. And I'm just trying to muscle through and get this uh get this done to be completely honest with you. It is definitely uh, quite frigid out there and we've already been here for like three and a half hours or something like that. Yeah, these are definitely just offices. There is a desk here though. That's kind of interesting. It's a little crossword puzzle book. That's kind of cool. It is so freaking cold, my hands are like ice right now, but uh, we are definitely getting a little bit of activity inside of this house. Um, it's kind of odd as I was like setting up the camera here. I started noticing that I was smelling smoke, like cigarette smoke. Which is kind of interesting because we're literally the only two in this building right now. And neither of us are smoking. And as far as we know, nobody else is smoking in the building. And I don't think anybody else has been here either. Is there somebody smoking in here? Do you want to give us a sign? Let me know that you're here. If you are here, can you knock? Thank you. Can you do something else? There it again. What is that? It's like something banging like off in the distance. Thank you for doing that. Man, I'm literally trying to warm up my hands. <laughs> it's just, it's bitter, man, it's bitter. It's gonna be a tough night, let me tell you. <laughs> so we definitely heard some uh, creepy footsteps out here. 
You want to do that again? I heard you walking in the hallway. Alright, let's carry on and uh, meet up with Chad. We'll probably head to the basement soon. I don't even know if he's still up here or if I'm alone up here. To be honest, I know he's not on this wing though. Chad? I don't know where he went. Oh, I hear him. Oh, it's like more offices, I think. Is he even still up here? Chad, are you up here? No, he's definitely not. <laughs> I think he might be downstairs, actually. Whew. All right, I guess uh, let's head downstairs. Oh, there's another wing right here, what the heck? There he is. Oh, there's like a classroom over here. What the hell? Yeah, there's a bunch of these over here, bro. Yeah? And like this whole end of the hallway is all lined up with classrooms. Oh, wow. You getting anything? Some relevant words, vowels, yeah. syllables. I got students. Okay. Things that make sense as far as like being in a classroom. Nothing as far as the vampire. I got a couple different names, but I don't know if they're anything, so does anybody want to uh, tell us anything? Oh, this thing is going crazy right now. Do you have a name? So I got the name Amanda. Oh, it's what gave you. Yeah, and there's one other name, I forgot what it was. Amanda, are you with us? Are you inside the building right now? Is there anything that you want to tell us? Were you a patient here at the sanitarium? It's just dead silence all of a sudden? It was like blurting out words like crazy and all of a sudden it just... It does stop. that, yeah. <laughs> it does that. That's it will go for five minutes straight and then just stop for ten minutes. Yeah. So what we're using right now for you guys that, that don't know, it's the Obelisk 5, I think? The Obelisk 5. Yeah, so basically what it is, it's like a word bank and it allows spirits or entities, whatever's around us, to essentially choose words from the word bank. And every time we've used this, it's always been really accurate for the most part, so... Yeah, and it's based on the environment, so... Yeah. The words, uh, students, and uh, vowels, and syllables made sense as far as being in the classroom. You got students? Students. Oh, yeah. really? Crayon. Crayon. Music. Music, crayon. So maybe there's a music wing somewhere? Could have been. It was, this, I think this area was also used as a school, obviously, we're finding classrooms. Right? There's a ton of classrooms in this hallway yeah. here. And I mean, it does say crayon. Some interesting Did you stuff. like to use crayons? Amanda, did you like to use crayons? You said students, what about the teacher? Where's the teacher? What was your favorite subject? Maybe it was music. <laughs> Who knows what kind of instruments they could have been playing. Did you play an instrument?
be fine. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to move on now. All right. <laughs> All right. They stopped answering. Yeah. <laughs> that happens. What is it? Yeah, just some random stuff there. Closet pushed. Scratch. Oh, scratch. Yeah. That's interesting. But it even said closet. Is there a closet in this room? I mean, there's closets throughout the building. Did somebody... It said pushed as well. Did somebody push you into the closet? What subject did they teach in this room right here? said we're gonna move on it's your last chance if you want to talk to us clearly for some reason nobody else wants to come to this building I don't know why <laughs> <But> <laughs> I don't know. if we leave we don't know if anybody else is gonna come back and visit you do you want a cookie or some candy About a cupcake. Cupcake. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're moving mm -hmm. along. What was that? What was that? It's like a banging sound. Yeah. It was like the hole, I think. Oh. I don't know if you guys heard that. I just heard a banging sound. It was pretty yeah. loud. That was just me. Oh yeah, there's a lot of classrooms here. Is there somebody in this hallway? We know you're here, we heard you. Can you make another noise so I know where you are? It sounded like it was from down here, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that could have been, to be honest with you. I just wonder if it was a pipe or something? I don't know. I don't think so, man. Maybe it was like the door. Maybe something moved the door over here. Huh. Oh wow, look at that. That's so cool. Oh, you know what's crazy too? Oh, look at this. What were they teaching? Freaking. They were teaching like accounting in here. <laughs> That? You heard that, right? Yeah, yeah. It sounded almost yeah. like a like a wine. Let me shut this off for a minute because it's gonna go and go. Let's see if we can hear some sounds. I mean, if you guys heard that, we heard it. It sounded like woo or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it kind of sounded like it was from this, uh, this area. Oh, 
Was there somebody in here that made that whining noise? What the hell is that? Could it be just the wind? There's no open windows in here, I don't think. I don't know, it sounded kind of like... I how some other people from the group came in the building? You know, we would have heard them. Okay. That sounds like wind. That's the wind. I think it's just the wind. Could be. To be honest with you. I think we're going to debunk that one. I think it's just the wind. <laughs> Could be. Could, it might not be. I don't know. To me, it sounds like the wind. Fuck, it wasn't even recording. What the hell was that? It's another banging sound. Yeah. That was like right behind us. Okay, so I don't I think... Heard it over there. Did you? You heard it in here? I thought it was from behind us. So we just heard a, like another room. bang. Of course, the moment we turn the cameras off, obviously they're camera shy. Pretty normal thing, I guess, for uh, spirits, though. You make another banging sound. We hear you. We hear what you moving. We hear you moving around. I don't know. I don't think so. I didn't see any stairwells that go up. I think it's just these two floors. Man, I'm just trying to get this one cinematic and every time we get the cinematic we get something. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like I just can't stop recording. Alright guys, so I think uh, it is now time to head probably down to the basement um, and then after the basement we're going to head to another building because there's a lot to see here and I really want you guys to see as much of it. Um, honestly, I don't even know if we're going to be able to get to all of it tonight, but we are damn well going to try. The fuck? You're over there? Did you, did you hear me call out the first time? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought I... I heard yeah, I was just about to say that, that I could have sworn I heard somebody behind me talk. For a second, I actually thought you were back down that way. <laughs> no, I heard it downstairs, because I was over here. Okay, let's go check downstairs then. And I was trying to figure out, I stopped to listen for the group yeah. to see if anyone came in. Yeah, I don't know. It's not like a whole conversation was going on. So, I don't know. I didn't hear anybody come in. Is there anybody downstairs? Coming. Yeah, I don't think anybody else has been in this building, to be honest with you. Oh, it's freezing, oh, it's freezing everywhere, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like unbearable. <laughs> yeah, I don't, dude, there's no one else in this building. made my way down here to the uh, basement. I don't even know if Chad has made his way down yet. But, uh, yeah, this is definitely very creepy. Oh my god, there's a little, little dusk over there. Okay. It's crazy uh, asylum vibes down here. Like I said, this place did used to be used as an asylum at one point as well. Okay, I'm not quite sure where the uh, the gym area or basketball court is in here, but I do know it's here. I have no idea if Chad even came down here or not. <sighs> what are these? It's like old manuals. It's Department of Corrections. 
Yeah, so they definitely use this building as part of the prison later on as well. It's kind of good that they uh, found use for it. Oh, I think it might be down here. Hello, is there anybody down here that wants to uh, talk to me? like all the uh, tools and everything are all gone but the setup is here the furniture that's pretty awesome what the fuck was that Chad Where I just heard somebody like scream bloody murder. Chad, are you down here? No, he's definitely not down here. What was that? Oh my. I clearly heard that. I hope the camera picked it up. Whoa. Wow, that was creepy as hell. This whole area is really creepy, to be honest. Whoa, there's like a whole other basement. I can't find this guy, I have no idea where he went. Oh my. Was this area? Oh, it was a barber school. What? Whoa. I kind of thought it was too. You have all the individual stations. Huh. Cool. Just goes outside. Oh no, it goes to the stairwell. Okay. I'm just gonna keep filming, just in case. Okay, so this is exit. Ooh. That's strange, they said there was like a gym or something down here. Is it like down here somewhere? Oh, it is. Oh, wow. That is so cool. That's awesome. Got the old basketball nets and everything are all still here. I don't know if there's anything else like down here. Okay, 
Kind of just looks like uh, kind of storage rooms or change rooms. And it just goes straight outside. Okay. I guess I could go up this way. Where the heck am I going? back into the uh, cafeteria area. Cool. This goes off into these little side buildings Holy and stuff. Holy crap. Too. This connects to the other buildings? Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, wow. There's like stairways and everything. It's nuts. Holy. Dude, this is probably where they used to carry the bodies. This is how they used to do it back in the sanatorium days. What's happening? Robert? Robert. Wasn't that a name that Yeah, that was a name we did from the investigation. So there was a girl, we were in one of the other buildings, um, and she's like, for some reason, the name Robert comes to mind, and now it just came with some novelist. Oh, it's gone. This thing has been just nonstop since mm. I've been down here. That's weird. Because these are the tunnels of death, I'm telling you. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm not even joking, dude. This yeah. is how they used to do it. I mean, it could have just been service tunnels, but a lot of the times in sanatoriums, this is the way they did it. Oh, wow, this is insane. Yeah. There's all kinds of left and right. This is nuts. I think everybody's kind of flooding towards this building now. Yeah. Oh man, can't breathe ever since I got in this building. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Shoot some hoops. I feel kind of like I'm going through like a Japanese temple or something. This is the Wow. It goes on forever. Okay. Yeah. At least it's warm down here. Wow. These tunnels are crazy. So we actually have a sanatorium in Canada. Not very well known, I'm not going to actually see the name of it, but uh, basically the way it's structured is that every house is actually connected to a main tunnel, so that way when people would die, they wouldn't actually carry the bodies out to scare people, they would just go in the house and then bring the bodies to the tunnel. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> wow. Sorry, I wasn't meaning to talk over you there. There's this area we've come to, it's completely uh, closed off. I don't know, man. That's interesting. <laughs> Not really. No. Clearly it's closed off for a reason. Yeah, it might be. It probably goes to one of the other buildings. I think it could be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, this obviously has to go somewhere. Well, they said they came down from the chapel, so... Part of oh, okay. The wow. Yeah. That's interesting. Is it a bullet? It looks like yeah, a bullet. it looks like a training bullet though. Yeah. Could be, I don't know. I have no idea what that is. If you guys know, let me know. Shooting guns down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? There's literally, is there people above us? There's people behind us. There's lights right there. Oh, okay. Whew, false alarm. <laughs> they just heard like some. <laughs> I heard people before. Yeah. Well, this is uh, quite the adventure coming down <laughs> here into the tunnels. Where the heck are we going? I don't know. This is weird. More always. 
Yeah, this looks like another building. Side of the exit is this way. Okay. So they said they came from the chapel. So is this like, is this the chapel? <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, we made it upstairs from the basement. We don't really know where the heck we even are. I don't think this is the chapel. <laughs> it definitely doesn't look like a chapel. I don't know where the heck we are. <laughs> This looks like a medical building. It is. Look. Oh, yeah. It's just like a tray. What was this? I don't know. I was going to check the map for a second. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I was trying to figure out from the maps based on like the curve from the tunnel that we took. Kind of looks like we might have made it into like a housing unit. Yeah. What is down there? What the heck is this? Oh. Yeah, definitely lots of, uh, lots of kitchen stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Smacking people in the butt with paddles. <laughs> Spirits, if you want to smack Chad in the butt with a paddle, feel free. Yeah. At any time. <laughs> let him uh, let him know you're here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, holy. So is this like, like, this is the kitchen area, right? Yeah, looks like it. Guys, we have no idea where we are, so just bear with us. <laughs> Probably storage. Yeah. Random wheelbarrow. Really? Yeah. No, isn't that like another room? It's like a lamp or something. Uh, looks like another room in there. Is it outside or inside? I have no idea. Because <laughs> it's weird because it's got like these shutter things, so they would have like passed stuff through there, right? Oh no, there's like a mop there. Oh yeah, so it goes... Here's your dinner, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I think it might have been actually. They would have like lined up here and then this is where they would have got their stuff from, I'm guessing. Get your mofongo. Yeah. There's any uh, spirits here in the cafeteria? Anybody hungry? So I'll check. 
pad's changing his battery, I decided I wanted to come back here and see what this back area is all about. So I'm honestly not too sure. Oh, it looks like it just goes outside. Oh, I am outside. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. What a weird uh, setup. There's another one of these rooms over here too, on the other side. Exactly the same, but this one is B. So I'm thinking it could be, could be commissary. Maybe they were cafeterias, I don't really know. Huh. This room's pretty much just identical to the other one. to next. Yeah, it's just like more and more kitchen areas. Oh. Yeah, more kitchens. <laughs> just like one big giant cafeteria building. Oh my god. going on in here. All right, I guess uh, we didn't really do the basement though, did we? We came through it. Is this the right yeah. Looks like it. <sighs> so freaking cold. What the fuck was that? Something. I just heard another thing knocking sound too. Did you? Yeah. Oh, they might have been outside. Yeah. I, don't know. I might have just been outside. But I definitely heard something behind me. Huh. All right. Oh, there's a second floor. What the hell? So apparently this building was uh, female patient dorms, and it also says housing unit. So I'm gonna assume um, that they did keep some prisoners in here as well. Yeah, yeah, these are cells, man. Whoa. I think this is probably the first look for you guys at the cells. It's crazy seeing these cells like this. So there would have been four of them in each room. It had like two little desks. <laughs> two little desks. Oh, there's a little speaker thing. Oh yeah, look at that. Little locker area. Here for their crap. Female panties and such. like the uh, washroom. Is this the shower area? Yep, definitely the shower area. Huh. Actually not even that beat up. Yeah. 
I think just people came in to steal the copper. That's why this thing is open. Yeah, I hope they got a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> they probably did. <laughs> oh, look at that. Someone left their little Ew. lemonade bottle right there. Yeah, that's not lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Very interesting. This must have been like more low security, I think. Because it's just like wooden doors, right? Yeah. Huh? Hello? Sounds like it was from like in that room. Is there anybody in here? from in here. Definitely heard scratching though. Who knows? Maybe residual scratch there. Could be, yeah, maybe. No, that's for sure. But if you don't do the crime, you won't have to do the time, right? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that wishes to communicate with us? Can you give us a sign? Knock anything? I thought I heard something. What is that? It almost kind of sounded like music for a second. Right? That's weird. Yeah, I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> 